Welcome to this edition of TechPlot Quick Hits video series. We're going to be talking about new methods for controlling style in TechPlot 360EX. So we've done a fair amount of investment to improve how one can interact with plot style uh, within the interface. We've included right-click context menus, uh, which allow you to change everything from color, contour, you can deactivate zones, uh, other advanced options you can leverage directly via right-click. Uh, this includes changing curve settings, uh, extracting data, as well as uh, changing style of objects. And we'll talk about this a little bit in the demo. In addition, we've invested in changing the Zone Styles dialog. Uh, we've made it so that one can actually use text to select ranges of zones and apply uh, zone groups, which allow you to very quickly change the style of a given set of zones. Okay, let's go through a couple of quick items. Uh, you can see that I've actually extended a frame in the workspace, but there you can see it a little better. We're going to load a data file. There's a couple of things to point out here. First of all, if you uh, look, we have a new mechanism by which you can load data files. All the data loaders are included in the dropdown, and so you can select PLT, for example, but you're not limited to PLT just by star dot uh, bin, for example, you could look for bin files if a bin is what you use typically. Or if you want to look at all files, you could do that as well. If you go back and forth between the loaders, it will reset. Uh, we're working on strategies to perhaps provide uh, user input for uh, potentially kind of your own template. So you could look for style files if there happen to be any style files. Again, uh, you have a fair amount of flexibility. And in this case, if we zoom way down to the bottom of, of all the data sets I'm showing, you'll see that there's a couple of files, including a layout. In the past, you would have had to go to a different dialog to look for that layout. In this case, you can go right to layout. So we've kind of unified the layout and data loading into one interface. So we'll just grab a few time steps and open them. You can add them to a list. This is kind of, we used to have a, a mechanism to do this, or you can just say open. And you can see we're looking at a simple lawnmower uh, I'll turn off the translucency to make it easier to use. And just to kind of give you an idea of the, the context menu, we can very quickly, say, change this to pressure. So you can change what's shown on screen. Uh, if I go to the Zone Styles dialog now, you can see which one of the zones has been selected. And we use a, a slightly different mechanism in the Zone Styles dialog. You can actually just check box, click it off and on, instead of going to the uh, the top of the menu bar. Um, now you can see there's a fair number of zones here. Some of these are actually just uh, walls that are used as part of the moving mesh. Uh, we can identify those quickly by typing in D in this case, and it will select all the, the zones with D. And I can make them a group and set that group to two. Similarly, B, if I select the zones, I can then change that to three. And I do this because now if I want to make global changes, for example, I can just type in three hit groups, and then if I wanted to, say, deactivate them, I could just click one time in the interface. Similarly, if I do two, uh, same kind of thing, I can deactivate those as well. And what that does is really take away the ground and other things so that you can see the, the blades, and I can rotate this around as well. Now you can right-click again and change that to pressure. You can do that for just about anything that you can click on on screen. And in this case, uh, I'll put that as pressure as well. Uh, other things that you can do, which are kind of convenient. Again, if you wanted to, say, hit play, you can just play along, and there's your animation. You'll see that tech plot's a fair amount faster than it was in the previous release. We see about two times as fast for most things, and then for some operations, uh, it's, even, it's even larger, um, up to 100 times faster, for example. So we can change the background to black. You can see it auto-updates. This is not new, new behavior, per se. If you turn off the edge, you can see the domain of each zone, and then that, that's something you can turn off and on as well. So you don't necessarily have to look at just the, uh, the edge. You can actually look at just the domain, which is a fair amount faster, again, if you're looking at large data files. So um, other things that you can do in the Zone Styles dialog, you'll notice that we've uh, included color coding so that you know that uh, they're related items. And uh, also gives you the ability to say, look at multiple contours. Again, if you right-click on the actual box here, uh, you can change it to, say, a filled representation. Or if you wanted to get rid of the 3D indicator, you could do that as well. The axis indicator will be gone. 
Well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, we're very excited to be talking about TechBot 360EX, which will be released um, in a few months. Uh, this will be probably in the first or early second quarter of 2014. We're really focusing on performance, but performance is not all about large data, although we can load uh, billions of cells on a typical desktop. What we're uh, bringing, in addition to the, the speed of which you load data, it's the speed at which you can get to the image of interest. And with these new usability improvements, we feel TechBot 360 is becoming the easiest tool to use to get to an answer quickly. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video.